Call to order, City of Forest Park, City Council meeting number 1240, December 1st, 2014. Let's now stand for the pledge, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Could the Kirk call the roll, please? Here. Irby. Here. Oh. Here. Johnson. Here. Lodge. Here. Southall. Here. <coughs> Is there a motion? Councilwoman Herbie. I would move to excuse Councilwoman uh, Cottle. Second. So moved and second that we excuse Councilwoman Cottle. Is there any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion, let it be known by the sign of voting aye. 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 Opposed? Councilwoman Cottle is excused. Next item on the agenda is the minutes. You should have all received in your packet a copy of the minutes. Are there any corrections and or additions to the minutes? Hearing none, the minutes will stand <coughs> approved as presented. Item number three is presentations. I have no presentations on my list tonight. Does anyone else have any presentations? Hearing none, we move to item number four, communications from the public. This is a time for citizens to comment on matters before council or to ask questions of concern to them. When recognized, please come forward to the podium, give your name and address, then state your comments or questions. Council meetings are tape recorded for ease of transcriptions. Comments are limited to five minutes. Is there anyone from the public who would like to speak? Thank you, Mr. Smith. Excited about the agenda, item number five, reports of standing committees. The first standing committee report is Human Resources Committee, Councilwoman Holt. Good evening. Um, I would just like to remind everybody that this coming Friday, December 5th, is uh, um, Christmas light judging, and it starts at 7 o'clock. Just make sure you have your lights on at 7, and we look forward to seeing you and seeing all of the lights all over the city this coming Friday. December 5th at 7 p.m. With that, it concludes my report. Thank you. Any questions for Councilwoman Holt? Hearing none, Councilwoman Holt, I have no items on the agenda for you for the work session on the 8th. Do you have any to add? No, I do not, thanks. Thank you. Next report is public safety, Mr. Lyles. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I have no specific report other than to mention again, as I always, as I do, that the fire department's departmental report again contains a great deal of safety information for the holidays. And without going into the details, if you get a copy of that, it helps out a great deal for safety around the house at the holidays. Uh, the police department has been involved in a number of, of activities. The staff services division has been working on a pilot program for some court costs uh, cases to be heard in mayor's court and which would save some additional funding from going downtown uh, also sergeant tony pope has been working on uh, the active shooter response program with our police department so again to assure the citizens our police department is up to date and current on all um, possible activities that would involve an active shooter uh, i did want to mention also that I attended this morning a uh, visitation for Merwin Burquist. This is Chip Burquist's father who passed away, so I was able to attend that visitation. Thank you. Any questions for Councilman Lives? Here, non Councilman Lives, I have one item on the agenda for you for the work session, and that's the labor contract police clerks. Do you have any to add? No, sir. Thank you. Next item on the agenda, next uh, committee report is Public Improvement and Facilities Committee, Mr. Southall. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I do not have a specific uh, report for Public Improvement and Facilities. Um, the information that I would have is contained in uh, two resolutions and, and an ordinance that I'm going to be presenting. Um, that's the end of my report, <coughs> Ms. Uh, Ms. Mayor. And if there's any questions, I'd be happy to entertain them. Any questions for Mr. Southall? Hearing none, Mr. Southall, I have no agenda items for you for the meeting, the work session on the 8th. Do you have any to add? 
Uh, no, sir, I do not at uh, this time. Thank you. Next item is item D, Ways and Means Committee. Councilwoman Herbie. Um, yes, I just want to mention there was a Ways and Means Committee meeting um, uh, prior to this meeting, and um, we covered the budget. Uh, council will be receiving copies of the budget uh, in their packets on Friday. We will be having that on the um, agenda for work session uh, next week. And there will also be a number of other items um, on the work session having to do with ways and means, the appropriations uh, and salary ordinances and a number of other th the routine things that we usually get this time of the year. Um, I also want to mention that I was uh, present at the tree lighting ceremony before this, and that was always very nice as usual. And then um, I did also see the... Um, uh, notice about uh, Mr. Berkwist's father. Uh, Mr. Ch Chip Berkwist is the uh, um, uh, director of uh, Waycross Community Media, and my condolences go out to him and his family, and that would conclude my report. Any questions for Councilwoman Herbie? Hearing none, Councilwoman Herbie, <clears throat> I have three items on the agenda for you. 2015 salary resolution, 2015 reappropriations ordinance, and 2015 appropriations ordinance. Do you have any to add? Um, as I said, the budget should be on there as well. Budget. Right. That's the two, 2015 budget. Right. <clears throat> There are no questions, Councilwoman Herbie. I will move to item E, Community Development Committee, Mr. Burns. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I have no report this evening. The next committee report, item F, is Law Committee. Councilwoman Cobbler is absent. Would anybody from that committee have a report for her? Hearing none, there are no items on the agenda for the Law Committee uh, for the work session on the 8th. Item G is Intergovernmental Relations and Communications Committee. That's my committee. I have no report uh, for that committee. I would answer any questions if there are any. Hearing now, we'll move to item number six, the mayor's report. Just briefly, I would uh, <coughs> just like to uh, announce that I, too, attended just uh, moments ago, minutes ago, the uh, tree lighting ceremony uh, held in the bays at the fire department. <coughs> As usual, uh, a lot of fun was had by all of, all of the children from the community. It was a very well, well done. I would like to thank all those members of the uh, Parks and Recreation Commission who worked to put that event on, as well as the uh, Fire Department for their assistance uh, with the uh, tree lighting ceremony, including uh, the Santa. Uh, I would <clears throat> like to thank all of the parents and guardians um, of the children who took the time out to bring them to this event, and uh, hope everybody would uh, who was who attended enjoyed themselves. And uh, again, thank everyone for their assistance and their participation. <clears throat> that would end my report. I would answer any questions if there are any. Hearing none, we would move to item number seven, City Manager's report, Mr. Hodges. Thank you. I can report that uh, everything is running smoothly right now. There's no interruptions in the overall operation. We did uh, complete the latest issue of the progress that's out there available for the public off of our website and also available uh, here at the municipal building. And finally, I would report that all the departmental reports have been completed and included in the council packet and also placed on file with the clerk of the council for public inspection. So that would conclude my report, but I would respond to any questions if there are any. Are there any questions for the city manager? Hearing none, thank you, sir. We would move to item number seven. Item number eight, other reports. First of those other reports would be the law director, Mr. Wyckoff. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I have nothing specific to report on tonight, but would be happy to answer any questions. Any questions for the law director? Hearing none, <coughs> uh, we, thank you, Mr. Wyckoff. We would move then to uh, the next item under other reports, the Clerk of Council, Mrs. Hoffman. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd like to report that resolution number 38-2014 was posted as required. That concludes my report. Any questions for Clerk of Council? 
Thank you, Ms. Hoffman. Moving on to the agenda to item number nine, unfinished business and general orders. I believe there's a motion. Yes, sir. I would like to move to suspend the rules requiring the reading in full on two separate days and read for the second time by title only ordinance number 15-2014. This ordinance was read for the first time by title only at the November 17th uh, council meeting. Second. It's been moved and second that we suspend the rules requiring reading in full on two separate days and read for the second time by title only, ordinance number 15-2014. Is that, yes sir. I believe that this, uh, this ordinance was actually read in full on 11-17, not by title only. It was read in full, yes. So just yeah. to make that correction. Okay. So the item was, so this, this is, is asking that to be read in full for the second time. It was read in full the first time on November 17th. Correct. The, you're, right. you're right. The comments were right. by title only. So I just wanted to make okay. sure it's clear. Okay. So this has been read in full once. Okay. Any discussions on the motion? Here now with the clerk call the roll to, on the motion to suspend. Burns? Yes. Herbie? Yes. Holt? Yes. <clears throat> Johnson? Yes. Lives? Yes. Sathaw? Yes. Motion to suspend the rules. Uh, passes 6 0. Takes us to item A under unfinished business, ordinance number 15 2014. Would the clerk please read that ordinance by title only? <clears throat> ordinance number 15 2014, an ordinance revising chapter 152, building code of the codified ordinances of the city of Forest Park, Ohio, to address the posting and unauthorized removal of building department notices. Okay. Is there a uh, motion? Yes. Mr. Burns? I move for the adoption of ordinance number 15-2014. Second. second. <coughs> move and second that we adopt ordinance number 15-2014. Is there a discussion, Mr. Burns? Yes. This uh, proposed code amendment is to uh, prohibit the unauthorized removal of um, notices and postings that have been placed on buildings by our building department to prohibit entrance in, or use of that building uh, as part of the process of addressing properties that may have been foreclosed or condemned uh, the city needs to more clearly prohibit uh, people from simply removing official uh, notices <coughs> and just continuing to occupy or otherwise enter these properties. Uh, it's clearly a health and safety and welfare issue uh, because these properties would, uh, would not be posted if they had not been inspected and declared unsafe for the usage uh, until certain improvements have been made. Um, for example, removal of toxins, structural improvements, et cetera. So uh, staff has worked with the law director to uh, draft this uh, code amendment and is now recommending for our approval. And with that, I would uh, urge the adoption of the resolution 15 2014. Ordinance. Thank you. <laughs> Ordinance. Okay. 15 Any further discussion? Hearing none, would the clerk please call the roll on Ordinance number 15 2014? Herbie? Yes. Holt? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Lives? Yes. Sathal? Yes. Burns? Yes. Ordinance number 15-2014 passes 6-0. Next item on the agenda is item 10, new business. Is there a motion, Mr. Lives? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to suspend the rules requiring the reading in full on two separate days and read for the first time by title only ordinances 16-2014 and 17-2014. These ordinances were posted six days prior to the meeting. Second. It's been moved and second that we suspend the rules requiring reading in full on two separate days and read for the first time by title only ordinance numbers 16-2014 and 17-2014. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, would the clerk call the roll on the motion to suspend the rules? Oat? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Lives? Yes. Sathal? Yes. Burns? Yes. Kirby. Yes. Motion to suspend the rules passes 6-0. <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, is there a motion? Uh, the next item on the agenda is ordinance number 16-2014. Will the clerk please read that ordinance by title only? Ordinance number 16-2014, an ordinance amending section 156.14 of the codified ordinances of the city of Forest Park as it relates to fees for work in public rights of way and declaring an emergency. Is there a motion, Mr. Southall? Uh, yes, Mr. <laughs> Mayor. I offer motion that ordinance uh, number 16-214 uh, be received for adoption. Second. It's been moved and seconded that ordinance number 16-2014 uh, be passed. Um, is there any discussion? Uh, yes. Uh, this is the end of the year housekeeping type of an amendment that basically uh, established the fees for utility companies and other companies who would use our right-of-ways uh, so uh, they uh, have to pay as we go forward into next year. Uh, when the companies install or maintain their lines and equipment in our right-of-way, they often dig and, and disturb uh, some of the, uh, uh, the area. Thus, uh, this is the reason for this particular ordinance. So uh, with that, I uh, offer a motion that, um, that we adopt this ordinance, uh, uh, number 16214. Is there any further discussion? Yes, Mr. Mayor. I, Mr. Barnes. I'd just like to offer one thing about this uh, particular um, um, ordinance. As a result of some of the disturbances, uh, it would be good to note that the work for the inspections and, and the like that the city would have to perform as a result of, um, you know, rebuilding those rights of ways, local taxpayers are currently paying for that. So this would actually help to deter or contribute toward paying that service. So it, I think it would be good to note that that would, that would also be covered by this. Okay. Any further discussions? Hearing none, would the clerk call the roll on order 16-2014? Johnson? Yes. Lives? Yes. Southall? Yes. Burns? Yes. <clears throat> Herbie? Yes. Holt? Yes. Order number 16-2014 passes 6-0. Next item on the new business item B is order number 17-2014. Would the clerk please read that order by title only? Order number 17-2014. An ordinance appointing John R. Wyckoff, attorney at law, as solicitor, law director, and prosecutor, and authorizing the city manager to enter into a contract for the provision of legal services. Okay, this, uh, <clears throat> this ordinance will be on the agenda for vote at the next council meeting. So we will move to ordinate, uh, resolution, I'm sorry, item number C. Is there a motion before that, Mr. Lives? Yes, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to suspend the rules uh, requiring the reading in full and read resolutions number 39-2014 through 46 by title only since these resolutions were posted six days prior to our meeting. Second. Second. It is moved and seconded that we suspend the rules requiring reading in full and read resolutions number 39, 2014 through resolution number 46, 2014 by title only. Is there a discussion? Hearing none, would the clerk call the roll on the motion to suspend? Lives? Yes. Sathal? Yes. Burns? Yes. Herbie? Yes. Holt? Yes. Johnson? Yes. The motion to suspend the rules passes 6-0. So next item on the agenda is item number C, resolution number 39-2014. Would the clerk please read that resolution by title only? Resolution number 39-2014, authorizing and directing the city manager to enter into an agreement with Deborah <coughs> K. Brown Gaines to serve as magistrate of the City of Forest Park <coughs> Mayor's Court. Is there a motion, Mr. Lyles? I would move to pass resolution number 39-2014. Second. And moved and second that we adopt resolution number 39-2014. Is there any discussion, Mr. Lyles? Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, this resolution um, would uh, act as uh, appointment of Deborah K. Brown Gaines to serve as magistrate of the City of Forest Park. This can be passed this evening by resolution 
and the current magistrate's agreement uh, for payment is currently $18,960.36, and we are recommending an adjustment to the current rates of two, by an additional 2%. Any further discussion on the resolution? <clears throat> Hearing none, would the clerk please call the roll on Resolution 39-2014. Bethall? Yes. Burns? Yes. Herbie? Yes. Holt? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Lives? Yes. Resolution 39-2014 passes 6-0. Next item on the agenda is item D, resolution number 40-2014. Would the clerk please read that resolution by title only? Resolution number 40-2014, accepting the bid of Bruce Construction for the Northland Boulevard Improvements Project. Is there a motion, Mr. Southall? Uh, yes, Mr. Mayor. I uh, offer a motion that resolution 40-214 be received for adoption. Second. Second. Been moved and seconded. We adopt resolution number 40 2014. Is there any discussion? Mr. Southall. Uh, yes. Uh, this uh, resolution deals with the uh, major construction at the Northland Boulevard using uh, uh, the uh, grants that, were, uh, that we would be receiving. Um, uh, we, but we cannot have a pre construction meeting until after the contract is awarded. However, at this point, we anticipate uh, construction will start in the spring of 2015. Um, this project alone is almost uh, worth uh, $3 million uh, of outside grant funds, which is uh, necessary to improve that uh, for improvement, and it will be a saving, a large savings for the taxpayers uh, and an around $300,000 of the cost. With that, I offer a motion that we uh, adopt Resolution uh, 40 uh, 214. Is there any further discussion on the resolution? Hearing none, would the clerk please call the roll on, roll on Resolution number 40 2014? Burns? Yes. Irby? Yes. Holt? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Lives? Yes. Sathall? Yes. Resolution number 40-2014 passes 6-0. Next item, item E, resolution number 41-2014. Would the clerk please read that resolution by title only? Resolution number 41-2014, a resolution to renew an engineering agreement with CT Consultants, formerly CDS Associates, for engineering services to the City of Forest Park. Is there a motion, Councilwoman Herbie? Yes, I would move adoption of resolution number 41 2014. Second. We moved and second that we adopt resolution 41 2014. Is there a discussion, Councilwoman Herbie? Um, yes, this and the next two resolutions are um, annual resolutions that we enter into um, for engineering services that we use as needed. And uh, this one particularly refers to the services of CT Consultants, which was formerly called CDS Associates. And um, our primary, um, uh, it's our primary engineering service um, contract. And uh, they do a number of things, uh, particularly from architecture and landscaping, engineering to traffic and civil engineering, along with backup services. And I would urge adoption of this resolution. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, would the clerk call the roll on 41 2014? Herbie? Yes. Holt? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Lives? Yes. Southall? Yes. Burns? Yes. Resolution 41 2014 passes 6 0. Next item on the agenda is item F, resolution 42 2014. Would the clerk please read that resolution by title only? Resolution number 42-2014, a resolution authorizing the city manager to renew a contract for engineering services with Brandstatter Carroll, Inc. Is there a motion, Councilwoman Hervey? Yes, I would move adoption of resolution number 42-2014. Second. 
It's been moved and seconded that we adopt resolution 42-2014. Is there a discussion? Councilwoman Herbie. Um, yes, this is um, our contract to renew engineering services with Brandstetter Carroll, who primarily works with our street improvement uh, program. And as with all of these, we have used these people in the past. We have a history with them. And so it is easy for uh, us to call upon them uh, to continue working with them because they have knowledge of our history. So I would urge adoption of this resolution. Any further discussion? Hearing none, will the clerk call the roll on resolution 42-2014? Oh, yes. Johnson? Yes. Lives? Yes. Southall? Yes. Burns? Yes. Kirby? Yes. <clears throat> Resolution 42-2014 passes 6-0. Next item on the agenda, item G. Resolution number 43-2014. Would the clerk please read that resolution by title only? Resolution number 43-2014. A resolution authorizing the city manager to renew the contract for engineering services with Burgess and Nipo Limited. Is there a motion, Councilwoman Hervey? Yes, I move adoption of resolution number 43 2014. Second. It's been moved and seconded that we adopt resolution 43 2014. Is there a discussion, Councilwoman Hervey? Um, yes, um, this is the uh, engineering firm we work with primarily uh, in connection with our stormwater utility and uh, detention basement uh, uh, facilities, and so I would urge adoption of this resolution. Is there any further discussion? Question. Mr. Barnes. So if I'm reading this correctly, this is more of a, re of a um, retainer contract versus a execution of service, correct? Yes, we, we are just continuing uh, the, our association with them renewing their contracts each year. This right. happens every year. Right. Any further discussion? Hearing now, would the clerk call the roll on Resolution 43-2014? Johnson? Yes. Lives? Yes. Sathal? Yes. Burns? Yes. Herbie? Yes. Holt? Yes. Resolution 43-2014 passes 6-0. Next item on the agenda, item H, resolution 44-2014. Would the clerk please read that resolution by title only? Resolution number 44-2014. A resolution authorizing the city manager to apply, to apply for Clean Ohio Conservation Funds to protect and enhance important stream banks throughout the city of Forest Park. Is there a motion, Mr. Southall? Uh, yes, Mr. Mayor. I offer a motion that we receive uh, Resolution 44-214 for adoption. Second. Sorry. And moved and second that we adopt Resolution number 44-2014. Is there a discussion, Mr. Southall? Uh, yes. Uh, this is a uh, grant that would save local taxpayers money while completing a project that must ultimately be uh, due to maintain the community and prevent flooding as well as uh, as well as a stream bank erosion um, this resolution is a uh, on the agenda to seek authorization to submit for a grant application with right form east bank stabilization uh, uh, stream improvements out uh, on uh, west kemper road uh, this project will cost in excess of two hundred thousand dollars and we will apply for all of but 85,000 of that. Um, we uh, need to provide a local share of 41% for the uh, final uh, estimated cost. And at this point, uh, we're required to um, get support on uh, successful grant funding that uh, we receive for Cascade Park Stream Bank. Um, establishment uh, stabilization and uh, Kemper Meadows Business Center infrastructure over the last two years. Uh, with that, uh, Mr. Uh, Mayor, I would uh, offer uh, that uh, resolution 44-214 be re uh, adopted. Any further discussion? Hearing none. All, uh, would the clerk call the roll on Resolution 44-2014? Uh, 
Lives. Yes. Southall. Yes. Burns. Yes. Herbie. Yes. Holt. Yes. Johnson. Yes. Resolution 44-2014 passes 6-0. Next item on the agenda is item I. Resolution number 45-2014. The clerk please read this resolution by title only. Resolution number 45-2014. A resolution supporting the application for Clean Ohio Conservation Funds to protect and enhance important stream banks throughout the city of Forest Park. Is there a motion, Mr. Southall? Uh, yes, Mr. Mayor. I have a motion that uh, resolution 45-214 be received for adoption. Second. second. Moved and second that we uh, adopt resolution 45-214. 2014 is there a discussion mr. Southall uh, yes this uh, measure is uh, directly related to the uh, previous resolution and is necessary for us to submit to complete uh, a grant application uh, the above resolution authorizes the city manager to submit the application and the resolution basically confirms that the uh, city council supports the project to the extent that we will fulfill the requirements and complete the project once uh, the uh, awards have been granted. Uh, with that, uh, I offer that uh, we uh, receive uh, resolution 245214 for adoption. Any further discussion? Hearing none, would the clerk call the roll on resolution 452014? Bethel? Yes. Burns? Yes. Herbie? Yes. Holt? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Lives? Yes. Resolution 45-2014 passes 6-0. Next item on the agenda is item J. Resolution number 46-2014. Would the clerk please read that resolution by title only? Resolution number 46-2014. Authorizing and directing the city manager to enter into an agreement with Medicount Management for EMS and motor vehicle accident billing. Is there a motion, Mr. Lives? Yes, Mr. Mayor, I move passage of resolution number 46, 2014. Second. It's been moved and seconded that we adopt resolution 46, 2014. Is there a discussion, Mr. Lives? Yes, sir. Uh, this is a uh, agreement with MediCount Management. Again, it's for EMS and motor vehicle accident billing. And uh, we've been involved with them in this agreement for over 16 years. It's a highly specialized area of collection, and we've been very pleased with their service and their ability to collect for us. I therefore am requesting that passage of resolution 46, 2014. Is there a further discussion? Hearing now, would the clerk call the roll on resolution 46 2014? Burns? Yes. Herbie? Yes. Holt? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Lives? Yes. Sapphire? Yes. Resolution 46 2014 passes 6 0. Next item on the agenda, item K, is a motion. Councilwoman Holt. I would like to make a motion to convene to an executive session to review the performance evaluation for the city manager, the law director, and the clerk of council. Second. Second. And moved and second that we convene into executive session. For, uh, for the purpose of reviewing performance evaluations. Is there any discussion? No. Hearing none, would the clerk call the roll on that motion for executive session? Irby? Yes. Holt? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Lives? Yes. Southall? Yes. Burns? Yes. Uh, the motion to uh, go into executive session passes 6-0. Uh, we, we will go into exe executive session to do uh, to look at the performance reviews, uh, performance evaluations. We will not take any official action while we're doing the executive session. When that session is over, we will come back out and there will be a motion to uh, adjourn the executive session and to reconvene the regular meeting. At which time we would, after those motion, that motion has been moved and passed. We will adjourn the meeting. Uh, so if you would like to just sit here and wait, you're perfectly, uh, we, you can do that. 
but I would suggest to you that I, at this point I have no idea how long this will take. So uh, with that, we will now be adjourned into executive session. There's two young men.